All right, what's good with y'all, man? This video, I'm gonna teach y'all one of the fastest, like, cheesy looking. I can't explain it. I'm gonna just teach y'all the speed boost that y'all see me doing in the intro clips right here. It's really effective once you learn how to combo and do it. Now, this gameplay is just random. Like, I had way better clips of me doing it and actually scoring, but I did not, I don't save any. And I haven't really been playing this game like that either, y'all. Like, I don't know. It really ain't been it for me. But, uh, yeah. I'm about to just get right into this tutorial. This is probably one of the most shortest videos I've made in a long time. But I just want to give you a tutorial on how to do this fast. Like, I don't know. If you know how to quick stop, I'm telling y'all, bro, this move is cheesy. You do a behind the back out of it. Really do anything you want out of it. But yeah, man, like I said, we're just going to get right into this quick tutorial to help y'all, you know, get open for easy buckets. And, uh, yeah. All right, man, so I'm going to teach you how to do the uh, two fastest speed boosts in NBA 2K21. Well, on PS4, bro, I can't wait for PS5 to come out, bro. I hope it's a different game. I hope it's not like 2K20.2. But, man, let me show you all my dribble moves first. Uh, Where is it at? <clears throat> my animations. You boys asked for my dribble moves, so I'm just show you all here real quick. Again, like I don't already be showing you all. But here you have my dribble style matters and my sig size that matters. Uh, make sure, I mean, you don't really have to put on dribble style Because I know people who use power on LeBron But make sure you have on Steve Nash for uh, uh, other speed boosts I'm going to show you guys These two speed boosts are really like they're, like, like they're so easy once you get them down I just need to, I don't be quick stopping So I really just don't use these moves like that But if you want to do these moves and you're going to quick stop and all that And you like to combo up with it, then you'll be good So let me show you the easiest one First one, boom That power push, like it just like once you get it, once you get it down better, you'll start gliding across the court. I was doing this when the game first came out by accident, but now I actually know how to do it. So boom. Oh, I didn't do it that time. Hold up. Let me see. Boom, boom. It's like a kick. It's good with screens. It's very good with screens. But let me show you guys how to do that move real quick. Really simple, man. This, this video is actually short. So it's probably one of the most shortest videos I've made in a long time. It's really just because I just don't even feel like it. I'm not even in the mood to edit or anything. But this move, ball, say the ball's in your left hand, right? What you want to do? Crossover. You want to just do that first. Crossover it and run in that direction without holding R2. Then as soon as you start to run, like without R2, you want to hold R2 and just keep going. Damn, I messed up. Like, boom. No R2. Then hold R2. Simple as that. So, right hand, you want to cross over. Boom. It give you like that power push. It looks more glitchy when you do it right. I don't know. I don't think I'm doing it. As smooth because I know I've done it at the park smoother. I'm not, it's not looking as smooth here, though. but that really gets them off screens. If you know how to quick stop perfectly, they'll really work. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So, boom, one more time, boom, boom. That power push, and then you, you could combo out of it too. You could boom, do that for a green or a quick stop, you know. But yeah, that move is really OP, especially with screens. It's really OP. All right, y'all, for the second speed boost, there's not really much to teach you guys because I don't really use this at all. I'm just trying to show you guys. But you got to make sure you have on my uh, Steve Nash Sig size up. And all you want to do is start the size up and momentum the same way you're going. Like, boom. All right, get it too fast. You got to take your time. Boom. Like, that's literally it. Start the size up, see which way it's going, and then continue that way. Now, there is another size you can use this with, but I don't know. I don't, I don't have an auto. I've only stuck to Steve Nash, so that's all I really know, bro. I ain't going to but look, boom, switch hands. It's all about timing. Like, I know sometimes I do it, it doesn't look as smooth. It, look, it looks actually kind of ugly. But once you master it, you know, you'll get it down. And you can do it to going towards the same ball hand. But I don't know. I'm not really good at that one at all. Like, it happens when it happens. I feel like you got to get a certain type of speed boost. Like, that's why I just, you only, that's why I really only use it going towards the opposite ball hand. Because with Steve Nash kind of push you in the opposite ball hand regardless. I mean, you could do it going back the other way. But it, it looks ugly. You, it's all about, I don't know, it's all about timing, y'all. This whole game, 2K has been about timing since forever. Like, the moves can look good. Like, you probably will get that animation sometimes. You just gotta master it. But I just really wanted to teach you guys the first speed boost for sure. I just wanted to explain how I do that one when anybody ever asks. But, uh, yeah, the first move is really OP. I kind of like that one because it's way easier to do. Like, boom, boom. Boom, start running. Power boost. All you gotta do, simple as that. And the second one, boom. But that's all I really want to teach you guys. You're a basic tutorial, man. If y'all enjoyed this, it's help you guys. Make sure y'all like this video up. 
sub if y'all new, man. And, uh, yeah, I'm out.